Hey everybody, Blind Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Eric. And we are back with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Q&A. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I was waiting to see if you went to the right one or if you were into the da da or something weird. What's da da? Oh, no, that's Flash. I know. Wait, we're doing Flash? No. No, no. You did this. No, no. But, uh, no, uh, episode... I don't know what episode. Episode. I don't we don't even, talk about I don't that even stuff. Know what, what what it was called? When we talk about episodes and, and names, we talk about spoilers. We want to do that. Yeah. Spoilers. Stuff. Anyway, we're gonna. Talk. But I think it was called like flashback or something. Wasn't that flash? Maybe. <laughs> wasn't flash called yeah, flashback? You're right. Yeah. Fuck shit. <laughs> Is this where I called like Little Mac? No, it wasn't called Little Mac. It was called uh, Watch Dogs. Oh, yeah, because yeah. we met the Watch Dogs. That's right. Mm-hmm. So let's see if there's any questions about Watch Dogs then. Think Maybe. there's any questions? Maybe. Do I have questions? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's do it. Binary79 says, Do you think the nuke we see is going to be used as a Terrigen bomb to create more inhumans for squid wards? Hey, people are using uh, melee hellbots. Oh, out. squid. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> um, and the Quinjet in space is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s attempt to get it out of orbit. I don't know about the Terrigen bomb. Because, I mean, they're giving this weapon to the watchdogs who hate humans. Yeah, they don't right? like inhumans. I mean, Unless it could be a it's trick. some kind of, yeah, ploy. And... But I like the idea that, because I kind of forgot about the Quinjet scene a little bit, which we do have a running slap bet on. Not yet. We never actually did it. Oh, uh, I guess so. Because we were so deciding on yeah. who and what, and I, don't, I still don't know. But the idea that the Quinjet is in there, like, in space to so- stop some kind of, like, orbital nuke is kind of a cool idea. Yeah. Because it does explode. Yeah. Could this be the explosion that sets off Civil War? It can't be, because other shit's letting off Civil War. Yeah, the Sokovia and yeah. the uh, Avengers Chitari thing and the something else. Yeah, kind of missed the old Civil War storyline a little bit, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. have been so perfect to set that set Yeah, that up. with the Inhumans and everything. But Marvel just cares. They're just like, oh, no one watches, or something. They make them watch. Yeah. They're like, hey, you want to know why this happened? Watch this. More story for you to get involved have with. Have they not seen Batman v Superman? You don't have to know what the fuck's going on. I guess you do. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Just things happen. Yeah. Um, let's look at Isabella Ramirez, who says, Do you think that May will actually kill Lash, or will Gemma convince her to use the cure that her and Fitz are working on? Keep mm. in mind that Lash has not completed his transformation. Yeah. It's kind of weird, because May has not been in the field for like a long time, I feel. Yeah, she's just been like back at base. Like The last time she was in the field, she just like succeeded without us even watching, like when she took over the truck. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we didn't see what happened we there. We didn't see what happened there, but it feels like we haven't gotten a whole lot of May action. But she is concerned with Andrew Lash thing right now. Yeah. I get that. I just love seeing that girl flip. It's great. Not not like that. I, just, I genuinely like watching her flip. Not a pancake. Oh. I, I like pancakes. I do like pancakes. Yeah. Shit. What are we talking about? May. Yeah. May making pancakes. And the cure. Making pain. Well, no. The cure. Yeah. Yeah. Making cures. No. She felt like... She, kill him. Yeah. You know? Like, they didn't feel like a whole lot of remorse. Well, remember last time know? they saw each other, she just shot him. Yeah, but I think she was... That was her attempt at saving him. I guess. And it didn't, it didn't work. Well, it wasn't... No, she, she did, didn't she say she didn't know it was like a trank gun or something? No, I think she knew he was going to change, right? I thought she was just going to kill him. I thought, like... They were real bullet that she just killing the guy. No, because she shot him back into that thing. Yeah, but I thought she just killed him. Into the thing? I don't know. I don't think so. Didn't she have some kind of cool line where it was like... I don't know. I thought there was. Like, you could have killed him. I was hoping to. I was to. trying. I don't think so. I thought there was. Not like that. <clears throat> um, I think she knew what she was doing. Do I don't, think, I don't do know. Do you think they're going to have actual cure? No. Is that going to resolve the Inhuman storyline? No. Before Civil War, so there's no reason to talk about it? <laughs> Maybe. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I didn't think about yeah. that. It's like, here we go. Everyone take this. Well, it's not a cure, though, right? Isn't it just a vaccine? Well, that's what they have now or something. But I think the I think that they're going to be progressing it. Like, this is right now we're at Velocity 2, and Velocity 9 will be the cure. I don't want another one of those storylines. I like it. When people get addicted. Got to have a cure. Don't, more, more addicted cure. what? Addicted to not being a human? A beer, addicted to, to, to cures. Cure, cures. I'd love to be addicted to cures. <laughs> Diseases, not so much. <laughs> Maybe. Kevin Velasque, Velas- Velasquez. Velasquez. With all. Uh, Kevin says, with all the theories over who dies in space, do you think they might be setting up to create S.W.O.R.D., aka S.H.I.E.L.D.'s extraterrestrial threat division, 
it could provide the show with more adventure space and thus open the possibilities for future stories. Yeah. Have you ever, you know, sort of? No. Yeah. Well, sort of something that I was thinking that the, from last season, we had like two shields. Like when Mac and Bobby were like working for somebody else, I thought maybe they're working for sword. Cause that would be cool. So you get sword and shield. Yeah. What's sword stand for? Bunch of stuff. Super. No, I'm not doing this. Strategic. That's worlds. Strategic of to, I, research and development. No, that sounds terrible. Um, Why would you come up with this? Because it it's awesome to go with shield. They just wanted to go with sword and shield. Why they go with shield? Strategic homeland intervention, enforcement and logistics. If this happens. Division. This fell out shield. It's awesome. It is awesome. Um, I like the idea of sword, but the thing is, is that. I, it wouldn't be Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. anymore if they create Because, you know, obviously people are going to be like, let's let's go with this space, you know? Like, that would be a Maybe cool... it's a spinoff. Maybe Bobby and Hunter go there. Their sword. Okay, if that happened, I'm all for it. Cause Marvel's in... Most Wanted yeah. turns into sword. Sure. You know? Don't uh, think so. Some wanted organizations. Yeah. Damn, I don't know. Yeah, but Aaron, it would be Coulson in space. He doesn't have to go to space. He can go hang out with Rocket Dude, If he had a rocket on his hand, it'd be... I don't like this idea anymore. Next question. A panda says... Huh? Where? Where what? Where's a panda? In, in the computer. That's the name. It's a panda. I love it. A panda says, when Daisy was interrogating the guy in his van, I don't know if you noticed Fitz's reaction. I may be looking too far into it, but it seemed quite similar to his reaction to Coulson killing Ward. Do you think Fitz feels as if he may not know the team as well after seeing some dark sides. And do you think it's something they should cover on the show? I think it's an interesting question because fits these last epi- shit. These la- uh, fits these last couple episodes coming back from the break. I feel like he's been like gone a little bit. Like like weird, like distracted. Well, I mean, he had the whole will Yeah, I know. That's saving- what I'm saying. Like well, Yeah, yeah. In the beginning of the season, it was awesome. He had he's like a man on a mission to I save know. Gemma. It was awesome. And then it is awesome. I, I still love Fitz. And like he came so far from season two, where he was just yeah, you know, damaged and couldn't think right and all that stuff. Yeah, and it just seems like after he killed what he thought was Will, he just he just doesn't have the same like. I won't say he's not fun because obviously he's fun. He doesn't have the same like energy he had. I feel yeah. like. I mean, I guess he really hasn't had that since he got trapped in the submarine thing. Well. Uh... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I, I think that with him and Jimma not, you know, because he was like so passionate to get Jimma back. Now that she is back, yet he killed, you know, fake Will. Fake Will. Yeah. I Yeah. I mean, I think it's an interesting question. And when it refers to like Daisy and the interrogation in the van, but I think it was a truck. Mm-hmm. It was. I mean, I wouldn't mind her interrogating me in a van. She, but that's beside the point. Um, she never touched him though, Eric. Huh? All she did was just. She doesn't need to. Just be there. But when it came to that, yeah, Fitz had the same look that, yeah, she had when, when Coulson killed Ward a little bit. Yeah. Like when they got back. But, I mean, it's weird. He just killed Will. And yeah. And he just killed Ward. Well, seeing the darkness in Friends can help reflect the darkness in yourself a little bit, too. Maybe. Maybe he... I don't know if he's going disenfranchised with S.H.I.E.L.D. because he certainly is still working. Mm-hmm. But I think that he's, like, completely enveloped in work and not thinking about anything else. Because I mean, him and Jimmy had that little thing, like, let's be friends, you know, and they hugged. And then there's nothing happening. And then it's like, it seems like he just hasn't, like, he's not, he hasn't started over. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he needs a sandwich. Yeah. Right? Oh. Or, or a monkey. Dang it. Monkey would be good, too. Monkey lifts your spirits until they rip your face off. A monkey with a sandwich. Right? That's all we need. Yeah. They don't have to show anything else in the rest be of the good. show. Just send me, P.O. Box, monkey with a sandwich. Don't do that. What? I ripped my face off. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, boo. <laughs> we, I wish, but it'd be more like... <laughs> it'd be like Shockma. And just eat the sandwich. Do you know Shockma? No. You don't, you don't, oh, dang Who's Shockma? No one ever knows Shockma. Who's Shockma? It was like a horror movie from the 90s that was based on like this this tower that was a research facility okay. that did studies on monkeys, and they did studies on this one baboon, and then this baboon got out. Like, they were doing like genetic stuff to it, and like it went through this place terrorizing, killing all the scientists, and like... He would like he would crawl through vents or get on that elevator and stuff and like hunt him down and kill him. It was a crazy. I, me and my sister used to watch it when we were younger. Yeah, now, I've, I've never heard of it. A horror movie from the nineties. Yeah, called Shockma. Okay, you should just look it up and watch it. I remember they they 
the one guy who like was like friends with the monkey, who was like worked with him the most, had to kill him in the end. Hmm. And like they threw him in a furnace by putting his mirror. Okay. It was awesome. He, he put a mirror and then stood here and then the monkey like saw him and he ran at him and he jumped to kill him and he broke through a mirror into a furnace and he locked him in the furnace and killed the monkey. You liked it. It was awesome. You gotta go pretty deep to get a reference I don't get. I did not get shock much. Shock. Good question. Evil monkey. Evil panda. No. <laughs> it's kind of a uh, Jack Skellington panda looking thing. There. A little bit. Maybe pandas just look like Jack Skellington. What's this? What's this? <laughs> See, I know that one. Just so Shayla. I my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. I love that song. <laughs> what do you guys think will happen when Hive Ward and Daisy meet? Um, Hive Ward does have all of Ward's memories, so do you think that he will try to mm. use his mind control thing on Daisy? Would Hive Ward have, like, because we know he has all the memories, would he have, like, the love? I don't think he'll have love, but I think he'll know of the, what, you know, the... In the Maybe love conquers all. So he's just and like, Ward oh, comes good. back. Yep, yeah. That's good. If there's any time for Ward to come back and, like, take control again or something, it would be... Seeing Daisy, right? Or something? I don't know. I think, he, I think he passed that after Agent 13. Is that who it was? What was her name? The face changing 33. person? 33. Is that what it was? Maybe. 32? Something. Agent 32? 79. What? Hmm? 79. What was Bobby's number? She didn't have a number. I thought she was an agent something. She's Mockingbird. Oh. It was Agent 32. I thought it was 33. No, 32. Okay. The question. Um... I didn't think about that either because well, she's could she human. mind could he mind control he's Daisy? doing yeah whatever he's doing with the other human humans he could do with her yeah I never thought that about that that would suck that would suck that but would suck. I would love to be on that part of the mind control what <laughs> what mind control you would be, be Ward yeah I won't take her skin or anything what like the, she did to the one guys remember he took that skin I wouldn't do that next question is from Rakan Al Shabbat Rakan Al Shabbat says, "Hey guys, did you catch the reference in this episode? There was a Daredevil reference on TV, Gang Wars and Hell's Kitchen, and there was obviously the Avengers one and two reference mm-hmm. plus Agent Carter reference. Those yellow balls that turned the building into a ball from the first season of Agent." Yeah, Carter. my brother told me that one. That apparently that's like the same kind of weapon. Mm-hmm. It's also kind of like what happened to the Pym Technologies in Ant Man. Didn't that like shrink down? Yeah, bit? but I don't. That didn't shrink it, right? No, it just turned into a ball. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, it's similar. Yeah. Um, and I didn't... I, we still have yet to watch Agent Carter, so we yeah. didn't get that reference. But the Daredevil one, uh, no, I did not catch it. I didn't that. see it when we watched it. Yeah. I saw a picture later on where someone was like, hey, guys, there was this. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Well, that is cool. Yeah. I mean, more of that, right? Yeah, time together more. Yeah, it was great. Just something, like, yeah. Loved and then, it. of course, one and two, the Avenger stuff, we all caught that, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, last question is from Bethany Stevens, who Stevens. says, since there was some clear Civil War setup in this episode, whose side do you think the main characters, Daisy May, Colson Fitz, Simmons, Mack, and Lincoln, would take? Who would be Team Cap? Who hmm. would be Team Iron Man? Well, Colson is Team Cap. He'd have to be Team Cap, right? He, well, I mean, he... Yeah, it would be Team Cap. Uh, Daisy, I think, would go with Team Iron Man, just... Based on what she did. Really? Last se- yeah. I don't think so. Wouldn't she? Remember her and Max's little argument they had in the airplane? She, she needed to go in and hack them and bring them all out and da da da. And... Yeah, like private. Like she wanted to expose them. Kind of like what the Sokovia Accords would yeah, do. Yeah, but I feel like her being inhuman and other inhumans, she wouldn't want necessarily exposed to the world, right? I don't know. I, I just feel like Mac probably might go Team Cap because he was about privacy and freedom a little bit, I felt like. And she was on the other side. Yeah, I guess I can see where you're coming with that. Um, if that's the case, then I would hope Lincoln would end up going yeah. on the other side then. I think he would be Team Cap if Daisy's Team Iron Man. Well, he would definitely be Team Cap based on his last season, even, right? Being hidden from people. Yeah. He'd have to be. And, you know, he was trying to hide as a doctor, and they've houred him. So, yeah, he'd definitely be Team Cap. Um. May? May wouldn't care. <laughs> She'd probably just go with Coulson, right? She'd probably go whatever, whatever, whatever Coulson did, and then she wouldn't trust him, and then find out he was right. That's probably what happened. She would trust him, I think, now, right? Well, there'd be something to doubt him, and then he would do his little half smile and explain everything. I guess. And then she'd be mad that she never trusted. I don't know. Um, Fitz and Simmons. 
Those ones are hard, I think. Well, Simmons, she had that anti-inhuman attitude that she seems to have dropped, but she's trying to cure him now, so maybe not. I feel I like know. Simmons might go Team, Team Iron, Iron, Iron Man, and then Fitz. Team Cap or Team Iron Man? I don't know. I don't know what he do either. I'm not really but sure what he would. He, he'd probably just leave. Yeah. Like, fuck this, I'm He's good at Mount Maveth. I'm going to find my monkey. Yeah, exactly <laughs> what he would do. Yeah, so anything? Shh. Your phone? It's over there. Why? That's the last question. That's going to be it for this Q&A for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm -hmm. um, some good questions. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens on the next episode. I'm real excited, too. And I'm excited that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s not going on break like everything else. Right? Not everything I'm... else, but it just feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you guys tune in to the next episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and then come mm -hmm. back here and see our reaction and review. And then make sure you guys also hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the description for everything Blind Wave. And until next time, I'm Aaron. I'm Eric. And we'll see you guys later. Eric. Oh. Ash, what?